Hello and welcome to UFO sightings footage. Here we talk about the alien species that want to do us humans harm and we highlight the pain and suffering they've been putting humans through for hundreds of years and longer in some instances. We highlight the government involvement and the secret deals made between aliens and governments around the world and the horrible things that are getting done to innocent people. We explore the hidden agendas and the lengths some presidents have gone to to protect the alien government pacts. Today's information is about aliens that really want to harm human beings and try to enslave us, again. UFO sightings footage is always trying to get you the best information possible on matters that really affect to us all. There has been evidence of these alien species doing dastardly and despicable, nasty things like experimenting on pregnant women, dissecting animals around the groin areas. These alien beings have and do exist and have been around since anyone that's still alive today can remember. The evidence is unforgiving and to the people of Earth that this has happened to, it should not have happened at all. They shouldn't have had to go through any of it, especially the pregnant women. Some women have testified under oath that they were even forced to carry the unborn offspring of these alien species, because their population had dropped so low that the whole reason for them being on our planet is to literally mine human women for offspring and so they can get their numbers up to a safe level. Here is the very interesting part to that whole hidden alien agenda story. Apparently all of this totally illegal activity that has been carried out by these alien species on Earth, get this, it was all done with the knowledge and blessings of the US government in exchange for futuristic and advanced technology which included the key to free energy. The reason why I say that is because some of Earth's governments could have stopped this in its tracks but apparently getting their hands on advanced technology totally outweighs a mere voter. Because they are in cahoots and are aligned with alien species they are, in a way untouchable. The aliens protect them and in return, the government puppets protect them and their futures all the while advancing their pockets and militaries. There's been an alien presence here on earth for a very long time. There are ancient pieces of art on cave walls in France and Italy, the list goes on and on, all depicting aliens. Obviously modern artworks as well. Then there's pieces like the Baptism of Christ 1717 AD and the Annunciation with Saint Imidus in 1486, but to name a few. When President Eisenhower is even rumored to have had a summit meeting with aliens. It's veiled in secrecy but a number of reliable sources claim that he flew to Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico to meet with extraterrestrials in 1955, says Holcomb. Presidents hid possible alien encounters from Americans after the war but as the CIA grew in power it took over alien investigations and cover-ups. President John F. Kennedy demanded that the CIA hand over secret files and every president since has wished he knew more. President Bill Clinton has said he tried to get UFO information and it was withheld from him. Kennedy's pushing for UFO information may have been behind his assassination in 1963. Kennedy wanted to share alien technology with the Soviets and there were powerful people who refused to let that happen. President Richard Nixon authorized a UFO documentary using secret footage of an alien craft landing during his re-election campaign in 1972, but the project was axed by intelligence chiefs, claims Holcomb. President Nixon believed that a limited level of UFO disclosure would ensure his place in history, he adds. While running for office Gerald Ford, Carter and Clinton all demanded government openness about UFOs but fell silent once elected to the White House and privy to alien secrets. Again this strengthens my suspicions that aliens are hell-bent on savaging the human race and this is why sporadically we learn of an alien and military war has popped up in places like the Antarctica. This is because the aliens want more in exchange for their technology and technology as you know only buys you certain things. So the government either wants more or the aliens want more? This could be where we sometimes see the infighting for a better word? Humans also hit back from time to time. So do the aliens. 
giving the humans the advanced technology was a two-sided knife. The aliens want to go home and CERN is going to give them that ability. Here is the list of aliens we think you should know about. Because of the myriad of sightings and abduction cases that has happened over the decades, it has allowed us to differentiate between the alien species that are currently involved in altering mankind's development by interfering and offering technology for access to women to reproduce. They couldn't do it naturally so they had to develop a computer-aided system here on Earth that could splice their DNA with our DNA until they got it correct and it allowed human women to carry their bastard children. After they did this successfully and could do this time and time again, repeating the experiment and getting the same results they were after, basically we got the technology from them to clone, split and literally design a baby. If you want a blonde-haired baby, with blue eyes and an above average IQ with stocky build, look no further than yes, you guessed it, the United States. Here I will explain the four of the most manipulative and dangerous of them all. Some have been here for a very, very long time. Number 1. The Anunnaki. A large number of astronomers believe there exists a twelfth planet in our solar system. The aptly called Planet X is identified with Nibiru, the home world of the Anunnaki. Located behind the orbit of Pluto, this planet revolves around the Sun in an elliptical orbit and, unlike other planets, it moves counterclockwise. Proponents of alternative history believe Nibiru once collided with a solar system planetoid called Malk and gave birth to Earth. The planet's inhabitants are said to have landed on Earth some 400,000 years ago and colonized it with the intention of stripping it of its precious gold and minerals. For a while, the Anunnaki lived in an idealistic society and acted as mankind's creators, or genetic engineers, and mentors. They needed an able workforce to do the heavy lifting so they employed in vitro fertilization and genetic engineering to create a new species, Homo sapiens. Basically we were their slaves. Treated very badly. We were only good for mining gold for them. It is said the Anunnaki never left Earth and have been secretly guiding, some would rather say hindering and stopping us from growing spiritually. Basically they hate us now, even more than ever so before. Mankind's development should more advanced by now but they've stopped us. Almost every aspect of early human life is said to be an inherited trait from them. Our engineered DNA contains the markers of their male-dominated, violent and vengeance-inclined typology. The Anunnaki are believed to be involved in a conflict with the other contender for Earth domination the Draconians. Number 2. The Draconians. Violent deeply corrupt creatures, the Alpha Draconians permeated human society eons ago and have kept a tight grip on it ever since. The oldest reptilian race in the Milky Way galaxy, the Draconians came to Earth from Alpha Draconis, but their original home world is believed to be in another universe altogether. Like other reptilians, the Draconians multiply by laying eggs. Unlike other reptilians, they employ the use of a battle hormone to speed up the birthing process and ensure that their spawn exhibits warlike characteristics. Alien theorists surmise that the dualistic nature of mankind is a remnant of alpha draconian domination. In their society, females are not allowed to participate in war. Their role is to produce more soldiers. A truly giant species, the Alpha Draconian can measure anywhere from 14 to 22 feet tall and weigh approximately 2,000 pounds. Their massive bodies are covered in dark, leathery scales and some accounts describe them as winged creatures. Perhaps this is what gave rise to the devil concept. A highly intelligent species, they are the only lineage of their kind that survived. They eliminated all the other ones. The vain Alpha Draconians consider themselves the first intelligent species to have appeared in our galaxy. They are ambitious and their expansionist policy led them to conquer many worlds. Their ego is as massive as their size, so they truly believe their rule over lesser evolved worlds is the only valid one. 
we are seen as an inferior species, so they continue to exploit us. Number 3. Not to be confused with the smaller. Alpha Draconian warrior caste, the native reptilians are believed to be indigenous to Earth. They also have a long history of interaction with the human society but their preferred method of collaboration usually involves using us as a resource. They have a hand in most upper echelon dealings and occupy positions of power that allow them to rule from the dark. Described as eight-foot-tall bipedal lizards with humanoid traits, the native reptilians are covered in green scales and emit a foul body odor. They see the world through large eyes with vertical pupils, a trait that is shared by other reptilian species. Very few information about their kind is known but most accounts identify them as a pioneering race employed by the Alpha Draconians in their earliest attempts to dominate Earth. They are present in the mythologies of ancient cultures from all over the world and the descriptions match regardless of age or continent, malevolent beings with an increased hostility towards man and his kin. Hardcore conspiracy theorists will tell you they infiltrated human society to its bone, manipulating the elite into doing their bidding. Our institutions, organizations and financial system were created and are continuously influenced by these reptilians that call Earth home. Number 4. Bold, bold and pale, the tall greys proudly stand eight feet tall. Considered masters of technology, they act as emissaries in most meetings between men and alien. Their lead position allows them to. They are the genetic engineers of the short greys, the species most commonly associated with abductions. Involved in various experiments, they are rumored to have designed human grey hybrids that walk freely among us. Their preferred mo includes mind control techniques and striking lucrative diplomatic agreements with the global shadow government. Most accounts claim they originated somewhere in the Orion constellation but some speculate their advanced technological level could mean they traveled to our universe from another one. Although they are the real masterminds behind most human abductions and experiments, the tall greys rarely show their faces during their unethical procedures. Instead, they prefer to rely on their trusted minions, the short greys. One particularly intimidating scenario identifies their intentions as decidedly malicious, they want to develop a solid human grey race of hybrids, one they consider worthy to become the Earth's new keepers. A progressive, egocentric species, the tall greys see us as mostly worthless, save for our scientific purposes. For them, the sons and daughters of man are nothing but a commodity. See that you never cross paths with them. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe for more awesome videos on stuff they don't want you to know about. As always, you decide what's right and what's wrong. UFO Sen. UFO sightings footage is always trying to get you the best information possible on matters that really affect to us all. There has been evidence of these alien species doing dastardly and despicable. Nasty things like experimenting on pregnant women, dissecting animals around the groin areas, these alien beings have and do exist and have been around since anyone that's still alive today can remember. The evidence is unforgiving and to the people of Earth that this has happened to, it should not have happened at all. They shouldn't have had to go through any of it, especially the pregnant women. Some women have tested, obviously modern artworks as well. Then there's pieces like the baptism of Christ 1717 AD and the Annunciation with St. in 1486, but to name a few. When President Eisenhower is even rumored to have had a summit meeting with aliens. It's veiled in secrecy but a number of reliable sources claim that he flew to Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico to meet with extraterrestrials in 1955, says Holcomb. Presidents hid possible alien encounters from Americans after the war but as the CIA grew in power it took over alien investigations and cover. The reason why I say that is because some of Earth's governments could have stopped this in its tracks but apparently getting their hands on advanced technology totally outweighs a mere voter.
because they are in cahoots and are aligned with alien species they are, in a way untouchable. The aliens protect them and in return, the government puppets protect them and their futures all the while advancing their pockets and militaries. There's been an alien presence here on Earth for a very long time. There are ancient pieces of art on cave walls in France and Italy. The list goes on and on. All depicting aliens. Stified under oath that they were even forced to carry the unborn offspring of these alien species, because their population had dropped so low that the whole reason for them being on our planet is to literally mine human women for offspring and so they can get their numbers up to a safe level. Here is the very interesting part to that whole hidden alien agenda story. Apparently all of this totally illegal activity that has been carried out by these alien species on Earth, get this, it was all done with the knowledge and blessings of the US government in exchange for futuristic and advanced technology which included the key to free energy. Hello and welcome to UFO sightings footage. Here we talk about the alien species that want to do us humans harm and we highlight the pain and suffering they've been putting humans through for hundreds of years and longer in some instances. We highlight the government involvement and the secret deals made between aliens and governments around the world and the horrible things that are getting done to innocent people. We explore the hidden agendas and the lengths some presidents have gone to to protect the alien government pacts. Today's information is about aliens that really want to harm human beings and try to enslave us.